Oh my God, there's so many risks to our health. I'd hate to bring up one more, but air pollution, it is not a small deal. I follow the literature on air pollution, the medical literature, and it's incredible. Every week, every month, another three to five studies come through about the quality of the air and risk of congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, heart attacks, triggering heart attacks, atrial fibrillation, obesity, weight gain, the toxicity of breathing in air. Think about it. It's our primary source of fueling our body for health. And if the air is polluted with toxins, watch out. So you might follow on your phone or on the computer air quality, particularly if you're living in an area that has forest fires like we've been hearing about for the last few years. You might be living in Los Angeles, where, of course, for decades, smog has been an issue, New York City and others. Be aware. Maybe that's where you wear a very effective mask and be cautious. Be cautious around trucks and buses and cars and fumes, too. Try and avoid them.